Good afternoon. Welcome to Midday Prayer. We'll begin very shortly. Just going to beat myself for a little and wait for people to come. Hi, Mike. It is very marvelous. I have this cool hay wind. <laughs> That's quite beautiful. Well, happy Monday, everyone. Welcome to Midday Prayer again. Um, I'm going to share something. Hi, Diane. Good afternoon. Um, if you could let me know, I think I am, you can see me. The internet is working great. So just shoot me a little note. If things don't work out, I'll do my best to stay, <laughs> to pay attention so that um, if I have to come back in or something, I can do that. But it's kind of a, a sacrifice I make just so I can be outside in nature and pray. <laughs> so uh, I always take that little bit of risk, but that's okay. Um, I wanted to share something today uh that i kind of learned this uh, this weekend um i went to an event um and it was very beautiful um and there was a um a consistent message i guess of thanksgiving that i have always been i've always known always thought to thank God for many things and um, <laughs> just seemed very prevalent um, over the weekend, um, just having a prayer of thanks. So I am sharing that with y'all today on a Monday uh, to start our week off in Thanksgiving. So uh, the first thing I want to do is share this scripture that came to me. Just give me one second. I forgot to upload it. But yeah, I, I have been thinking of ways um, to understand what Thanksgiving looks like and um, what it means. Uh, we have, there's a lot of, um, it's a, a trend, a good, beautiful trend, by the way, of um, practicing gratitude throughout your day, you know? remembering the good things you have being grateful for what you is around you like you know acknowledging the, the things to be thankful for and that you're grateful for um and i i love that for many reasons and and there was this verse that came up today that i wanted to share and it is from Psalm 50, I hope I'm right. <laughs> Psalm 50, I better be right. Uh, verses 14 and 15, this is the CEB version. And it reads, offer God a sacrifice of thanksgiving. Fulfill the promises you made to the most high. Cry out to me whenever you are in trouble, I will deliver you and you will honor me. Now, when I think of sacrifices, and I use that word intentionally earlier, um, sometimes that feels like um, not nice thing. Like, <laughs> and sometimes it feels like giving up something, right? Or, because um, I, I often hear it in the context of making a sacrifice um, for this thing, right? So giving up something so that you may receive. But in this context, sacrifice seems different. Um, and maybe it's because it's a Thanksgiving. So are you giving up Thanksgiving? I don't know. It feels more like um, 
like an honoring, right? The sacrifice also can mean honoring. And I don't know the word there, so I could have looked it up a little bit more, but that's okay. Anyway, in this moment of gratitude in my heart and things that um, bring up for me, I just wanted to offer um, that there's also something honoring and beautiful in remembering what is around you and being thankful for those things. I don't think that it has to be up and against moments of also clear frustration or or pain or whatever that feeling that feels like the negative, the opposite. I don't think it needs to be up and against. I think it can be with, right? So on one hand, you can still feel a certain level of whatever that frustration or things that are going on and confusion, whatever. And on the other hand, you can also see the beauty and, and be thankful for the things that don't cause those things, right? Or that give you a sense that it's not just the frustration. It's not just the pain. I hope I'm making sense. Anyway, that is what I've been thinking about and what has really been resonating with me. So I'm going to offer y'all a chance to offer your own Thanksgiving this afternoon. Um, I'm gonna sing a song, one that is from my youth and one that continues to be a song that I love. And, um, and in that moment, if you feel led, you can share uh, something that you are thankful for today. And then we will end in a prayer, um, a few words, because I've said enough words. All right. song is simply thank you lord and it has other it's like a continuous song i think i've sung it before so feel free to find a place or if you're already there to center yourself thank you Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. You've been so good. You've been so good. You've been so good. I just want to thank you, Lord. My heart is full. My heart is full. My heart. I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, I just want to thank you, Oh God, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Our hearts um, come to you in Thanksgiving. And we ask that you continue to show us um, in beautiful and wondrous ways all of the things that um, we can be grateful for. Uh, whether it's that first breath, like first time we open our eyes in the morning or um, whether we realize something has just kind of worked out in a different way than we thought but it's really good or maybe it's just like knowing that I don't know we still have a little more time to do more do something different um, so we thank you. And we pray for those who are deeply sorrowed today. Those of us who, although we can see some really good things, it's been a tough time and perhaps our hearts are just overburdened with the sorrow and the things that um, the other parts of our reality and I ask that you just be with those of us who perhaps are having a harder time, not necessarily being thankful, but just knowing where to start, you know? Um, and we pray for just this continued beautiful day into this week. Um, thank you for the blessing of being in community together um and while the world is super heavy right now lots of things happening natural disasters people fighting for their rights we ask that you continue to um, show us the way um to uh, to care for one another to um support and advocate for each other and to trust in you and trust in your justice and your mercy where it is needed and necessary. Um, there are so many things um, that you know of, I'm certain, <laughs> so much heartache. So we ask for more chances, more spaces of joy and you see here these wonderful um, praises of Thanksgiving for children and grandchildren, um, for space and a uh, place to be, um, and just for blessings in our lives, um, and for the health that we do have and whatever that looks like. Thank you, oh God, again, thank you. You have been so good. We pray all of this in the name uh, of Jesus, amen. All right, my friends, thank you so much. Thank you, Lynn and Diane, for sharing uh, your special prayers of Thanksgiving um, and uh, gratitude, I hope that this uh, propels you forward into this week, that you get to see more beauty in the world um, as we confront things that are not so beautiful, because there are lots of things going on. Uh, I, hopefully we will have time to pray for those things as well. Um, happy Rosh Hashanah to our Jewish neighbors and friends and Happy fall. <laughs>
I love fall, y'all. It makes me very happy. So, and I love this wind. I hope that y'all get to go outside and enjoy this beautiful weather and soak in this goodness. Y'all have a good one. Peace.